Since the weekend, witnesses have told us that, in fact, both sides were antagonizing for a fight. On the one hand, you had members of the KKK, neo-Nazis and white supremacists who were screaming ideologies responsible for the deaths of millions of people in the past century alone. On the other hand, you had a lot of young people, many of them students, who were standing up, they say, to racism and anti-Semitism. Friday night in Charlottesville. If you look, they were people protesting very quietly the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. But in fact, Friday's march on the University of Virginia campus was anything but quiet, as white nationalists and neo-Nazis carried torches in a scene reminiscent of 1930s Germany. Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! chanting racial and religious hatred, some even throwing the Nazi salute. Many locals say it was terrifying. The mayor denouncing the march as unsanctioned, calling it intimidation. The next morning, they gathered again, targeting the Robert E. Lee statue, which the city wants to take down. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. But in fact, the event was organized by white nationalists, many dressed in paramilitary garb, carrying Nazi flags, clubs, shields, and semi-automatic weapons. Vice News interviewed one man who said they had no problem being violent. I'm carrying a pistol. I go to the gym all the time. I'm trying to make myself more capable of violence. I'm, I'm here to spread ideas, talk, in the hopes that somebody more capable uh, will we'll come along and do that. Somebody like Donald Trump who does not give his daughter to a Jew. <laughs> so Donald Trump, but like more racist. Yeah, a lot more racist than Donald Trump. Police say the white nationalists failed to stick to an agreement on where to demonstrate. Soon they were doing battle with counter protesters. If you do not disperse immediately, you will be arrested. What about the alt left? What about the fact they came charging, that they came charging with clubs in their hands, swinging clubs? In fact, that's true. Witnesses tell NBC News there were people on both sides who seemed ready for a fight. And some counter protesters were armed with clubs, some with pepper spray. They base me. Who? I don't know. Communists. But who is to blame for the violence? Charlottesville Police Chief Al Thomas. Do you believe that one side was more responsible than another for instigating the violence? This was an alt-right rally. And it was an accused white nationalist with a car who allegedly killed 32-year-old Heather Heyer. Yet the president suggested both sides share equal blame. But in Charlottesville... The president's mistaken. There are no good Nazis. Mr. Trump's comments are not sitting well with many. It certainly doesn't bring us together. And, uh, and emboldens those people that are not in favor of bringing our society together. This morning, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe is out with, with a statement saying that this was not both sides. He says neo-Nazis, Klansmen, and white supremacists came to Charlottesville heavily armed, spewing hatred and looking for a fight. He says one of them murdered a young woman in an act of domestic terrorism, and two of our finest state police officers were killed in a tragic accident while trying to serve this community. Incidentally, the memorial for 32-year-old Heather Heyer is today here in Charlottesville. Guys, back to you. Tom Costello in Charlottesville for us. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.